There's an image gallery resource built into Moodle, just show you how to use it. Go to add a resource, lightbox gallery. I've got some photos of my boy playing soccer, so I'm going to create a gallery from those. So Aiden playing soccer. This description is on uh, the page, so it's worth actually typing something meaningful. There's a setting you do need to change under advanced show more. We need to automatically resize and set that to screen and upload. So untick the disable and change it to screen and upload. And then when you do the upload, it would resize the images to the size that you specify here. Uh, that's a really good idea to do because quite often they'll be straight out the camera. They just won't work if you if you don't do that. And um, I've, I'm going to choose to say three images per row. You can you know, aesthetically make your own choice there. All the other defaults are pretty okay, I think, as Moodle defaults typically are. If I go to save and display, my image gallery has no images yet, so I go to add images. And uh, I can drag and drop files. It says if you wish to upload multiple files at a time, submit a zip file with images inside it. So I'm going to do that. Here's my images. I've actually already done a bit of processing on them in Picasa. I'll talk about that in a minute. So if I just zip them all up, send to compressed zipped folder. There it is. Drag that across and add images. Takes a minute here because it's actually processing all the files and resizing and so on. So there's a chance to just relax and chill out. Think about what you can have for tea, maybe. There we go. And uh, there's my image gallery. And if I click on an image, opens up in that nice little light box effect with the uh, usual kind of navigation that you'd expect. A keyboard navigation as well. That's pretty good. Uh, the things that you might want to do, the, the captions here aren't very good. So if I just say turn editing on and I can choose caption this is going to be tackle update and back to gallery and I can do caption for this one as well uh, now it does have up here as well these are the delete flip resize rotate tags um, I actually to be quite honest I haven't used them and um, what I tend to do, and I'd recommend most people do it, is in Picasa beforehand, I actually use the Picasa tools. So if I go into this one, this one has actually already been cropped from um, what it was before. I'd recommend you do that. So just go into Picasa, do all the um, updates that you want to do, export to the folder, and then um, uh, and then upload from there. And when you do the export, it's actually quite a sensible idea to resize them a little bit. Um, even resize them to the correct size is an option. Crazy, I know. Anyway, that's pretty much all you need to know about uh, the Moodle Lightbox Gallery.